Hello my beautiful ladies, it's Greta here, ladies relationship coach and today my queens I made a very important video for you girls and I'm sharing with you four steps on how to become the ultimate high value woman and ladies the reason I'm doing this video is because if you are not going to follow these four steps you might get still that ring on your finger, you still might get married after a year or two years, but long term it will fail. Long term you won't be able to sustain it. And this is the whole point of being the ultimate high value woman, that what you learn and the level that you take it, it's basically until you die. So the first step is the basics, is the beginning step. And the beginning step is actually very important and if you are already in the beginning step, you are already above average because most of people don't even come to the beginning step. Anyway, the beginning step is being open to it. If for example, you are in a situation where the guy is taking you for granted, everything is falling apart, maybe your exes have been cheating on you or they have been abusing you, all your relationships fell apart, you've been nagging, complaining, pointing fingers, not taking responsibility for yourself, your friends together with you have been pointing fingers, nagging, complaining, maybe even becoming man-haters, but when the ex texts you and says, babe, come over, you are coming there like an Uber delivery, okay? So if you went through this whole thing, or maybe even if you are dealing with this whole thing right now, but you are open to this, you are open to improving yourself, you're thinking maybe just perhaps I have been doing something wrong, this is why the guys are taking me for granted and not taking to the next level with me. Just by having this mindset, just by being open to it, you are already in the beginning stages of high value. Because ladies, majority of women are not even open to it. Majority of women believe with all their heart that we should just wear our heart on a sleeve and tell every single person how we feel and give, 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 give. And they just complain and blame and become negative and point figure, fingers because it's just an easy way out not to admit your own mistakes, not to see your own mistakes. Imagine that you're totally perfect and uh, not to take responsibility for yourself. So again, ladies, even if you're dealing with all this crap in your relationships, but you're open to learn, you're already above average and congratulations on taking your first step. Ladies, for the beginning stages, for having that dip into the water, I have a free Facebook group where you all can join and it's called Greta's High Value Women School. Now ladies, the second step that follows from being open to it is having a taste of a game, right? So now you're trying things out, you're, you know, applying some strategies towards him and you see them working. Oh my God, now he's chasing you, he's pursuing you, he might even be telling you that he loves you or you might even are getting a proposal and uh, about to get married. However, you are still seeing it as a game because this is not what you've been used to, this is not what you've been raised with, it all feels unnatural. Ladies, for example, if you never been to the gym, you're not an athletic type, you never done any sports, and now suddenly uh, somebody tells you that the only way to have a toned body is to go to the gym and work your ass off, and you start going to that gym every single day, ladies, it's not going to feel natural. To understand the strategies behind it all, to have the knowledge how to get it right, to make the right steps 
towards a happy relationship, to have the basics. I have a VIP group which is called Greta's High Value Women Tribe 2. What we do in VIP 2, we give ladies the strategies. We give ladies the knowledge. We tell them step by step how to apply it so it benefits you. As ladies, everything in life is a strategy. Love is a psychology. It's not some kind of fluffy thing that no one can figure out. It's actually a psychology. Also, ladies, you're very welcome to watch some more of my free videos about the games men play on women, and you can find them just by following the link right here. Third step on becoming a high-value woman is called a big life test, okay? So, for example, you've been open to it, you did step two, which is you learned all the strategies, how to apply everything. Now, for example, you got engaged or maybe you even got married and you've been married for maybe even a couple of years, right? Now, ladies, this is where the problem happened and I've been seeing it with my clients over and over again. If you have been looking at this as a game, and you only been applying these strategies to your relationship, long term, you will fail. Why and how? Because it's not gonna come natural to you and you're still seeing it as a game. So what that it's working, but it's too hard as it's still a game in your mind, right? So what, what usually happens to Wolf's woman is after a couple of years, we applying these tips still to the guy and then we get really tired because we are still surrounded by their low value friends who are influencing them to do different things and who blame, nag, complain, same as all these girls who are not open to it from the step one. And these low-value women keep influencing you, influencing you, influencing you. Then you get so tired that you start losing it too. And you become one of them by blaming the guy, being needy, clingy, controlling, going crazy, throwing tantrums. What happens next? Your relationship starts to fall down, right? Because this is not the woman that he married. But at the same time, you cannot sustain the game anymore because first, you're looking at it as a game and second, you are still surrounded by all these low-value people in your life. So you are who you surround yourself with. What's gonna happen, these low-value mindsets long-term will start to influence you and overpower you. And the outcome of it all will be your relationship will start going down the hill and eventually you'll get a divorce. And again, ladies, I actually had multiple clients with these scenarios. Now, all of those clients are in my VIP High Value Woman Tribe 1, where we are understanding that being high value is a way of life. Not just in your relationship, but who you are surrounding yourself with. You don't set healthy boundaries just with your guy. You set healthy boundaries with your family. You set healthy boundaries with your friends. You put yourself first with your family. You put yourself first with your friends. In order to have a happy relationship, happy marriage, what you need to do, you need to surround yourself with other high-value women. You need to surround yourself with other queens. Is it hard to do that? Yes, it is. Is it hard to let go of your low-value friends one by one? Yes, it is. But if they are infecting your happy life, if they are infecting your relationship and now you feel like it's crashing, maybe it's time to take it to the next level and do what's right for you. 
So ladies, for this, I really recommend you to join my VIP one where we have a group full of high value queens who are influencing each other to be their ultimate best selves and have not just a happy relationship, but live happy lives. And now ladies, the fourth step of being high value. Funny enough, can you guess what does it come down to? It all comes down to self love. All of this, the openness, the first step, the game, the strategy, the game, the uh, making it a part of your life, the third step, it all comes down to self-love. Let me tell you what self-love is not. A lot of people have a misunderstanding that self-love is indulgence. They think that self-love is going to buy some new clothes, self-love is getting some nails done, self-love is, you know, having a haircut, self-love is looking pretty, self-love is eating that cake and treating yourself. Ladies, that's not self-love. That's a treat. That's treating yourself. That's indulgence. Okay, that's very opposite of self-love. Yes, we all are allowed to have the treats here and there, and that's fantastic, very happy for you to do that. But this is not self-love, this is just an indulgence. Self-love is having the ultimate control of yourself, control of your emotions, control of your moves, being in control of your life. Self-love is having patience. Self-love is taking responsibility for yourself and not blaming others. Self-love is setting healthy boundaries with people. Self-love is not letting negativity infect your life. Self-love is giving no reaction to negativity. If you look, ladies, at my video, which is called um, How to Get a Man to Respect You, I'm breaking it down for you, ladies, how to set the healthy boundaries in a relationship. But if you will really get deep into that, it's all just self-love. And by the way, you can find that video just by following the link right here. Self-love is doing the right thing, even though if it's the hardest thing to do. For example, if you're a high-value woman and you're dating a low-value man, understanding that you were lucky to be alive, won the biggest lottery of your life and you were born, and understanding that you only live one life, and uh, that when you're gonna die, a God is gonna ask you, what have you done with your life, not which man you married. Understanding all of this and doing the hardest thing for you and letting the low value man, which perhaps you maybe even love, go. This is, ladies, a perfect example of the ultimate self-love. It is for the ultimate self-love, of course, I have a group for that too, and it is called an ultimate self-love. So ladies, if you like this video, please press like, subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you want to join my groups, I will link them in the uh, description box just under this video, or just uh, get in touch with me uh, through WhatsApp for more details. And thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Kisses from London. Mwah.